Good afternoon, everyone. I just wanted to take a few minutes to, uh, first of all, let you know that the mayor is en route. He will be here any minute. But I am going to uh, stop and just greet you, welcome you to our first ever African American flag raising in Brockton City Hall. In honor of Black History Month. Hello, Tony Ray. The, uh, we are, work, we are uh, raising this flag in, in commemoration of Black History Month, but uh, we are also want to let you know that we are doing it in collaboration with the African American Association. It is a group that was, uh, it was previously founded, but it sort of, I think, went a little dormant, and now the uh, Hodges sisters, Jamie and Jasmine, have reinvigorated the group. And I know that they are planning some wonderful events for African History, for African American History Month, this being the first one. So I really want to give a shout out to the girls and thank them for all of their hard work, all of the, um, the outreach and, and collaborative efforts that they've put forth throughout the city to have uh, meetings every other week or so, uh, and reaching out to our businesses and agencies so that you know everyone really feels celebrated and it can be a really inclusive engagement. While it while it does honor African Americans, it they want to let everyone know that it is an inclusive group. Everyone has a voice. They hope that you share in their excitement and the expectation of all the things they're going to be doing for the city of Brockton. And, uh, and I just, I am so appreciative of the efforts of our youth to make sure that our history is not forgotten, that we uh, as a people are celebrated, all people, and that uh, everyone's voice is heard, like I said. So um, first of all, I will, uh, we're gonna wait for the mayor to give his words of welcome, but I want to say thank you to all the elected officials present, starting with uh, Senator Mike Grady, State Rep. Jerry Cassidy, <laughs> District Attorney Tim Cruz, <laughs> Superintendent Mike Thomas, <laughs> Councilor, Councilwoman Rita Mendez, <laughs> Sheriff Joe McDonald, School committee member uh, Tim Sullivan. And I know we have our reps from Southeastern Regional Vocational Tech School, Tone Bishop Branch. Uh, where? where is she? Oh! <laughs> Councilwoman Azak, thank you. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm missing people. I'm, I'm looking at my list, but I know people. Where is he? Council Lally, Jack Lally, you're here? I know there's a, there are a lot of people here, so please forgive me. Maria Tavares. I honestly, please, no disrespect, I can't see past here. I, I, I kid you not. Is that it? Okay, that's it. And thank you, Mrs. Hodges. <laughs> She brought us wonderful cookies, as she always does, and she gave birth to these two phenomenal young women, so thank you. So Jamie, would you like to come and start us off while we wait for the mayor to arrive? Jamie? Everybody. <laughs> I first off want to say thank you for everybody that showed up, especially to the mayor's office, Sydney Morrow, Jensen, Davison, Mayor Sullivan. Thank you so much for um, helping me collaborate with me to put together this great first ever in Brockton history. 
African-American flag raising, so I'm very thankful for that. Also, um, elected officials, I know Sydney Martin knows you, but thank you so much for being here as well. To my sister, she's the co-founder. Jasmine, come on. <laughs> she's trying to hide. Come on. Come on up. So together we started this organization. So this is the first step um, to many great things that we want to accomplish in the city of Brockton. I'm bending down, I'm tall. <laughs> um, that's about it. <laughs> oh, and I want to thank the DA Tim Cruz for helping sponsor with our great cookies. And he's good. Thank you, Tim Cruz. DA Tim Cruz, I'm sorry. <laughs> And also, if you guys are around on the 26th, we do have a Black History Month event at BCA. Um, if you had a flyer, ran out. Um, I didn't make enough copies, but we do have that event. Um, but if you do want to get in contact with us, we have our website, email, aaabrockton at gmail.com. Definitely reach out, and we'll be in touch. And we have cards, business cards as well. Yes, we have meetings every third Wednesday of every month. So our next meeting is on February the 19th. So if you would like to be in attendance, it's on Zoom because COVID, so we're, we're Zoom. Um, one day we're hoping to be in person, but for now we'll just stay on Zoom. Um, but if you do want to be a part of that meeting, just please reach out to me and my sister at aaabrockton at gmail.com. And we all have Facebook and Instagram. Thank you. Senator Brady, would you like to say a couple of words? I just want to also welcome everyone here at City Hall. This is a beautiful building. It's a very historic building. And this is a very historic day. And it's, and it's a shame that it's taken this long to celebrate the African-American flag. And uh, I'm glad for all the people that organized it. And thank you for everyone coming here. And all of us together, all of you who are in the audience today showing up today, that's what makes us the City of Champions, given your time and your effort to celebrate this very historic day in Brockton. So, God bless you all, and, get, and I hate to bring bad news, but there, there may be another storm coming at the end of the week, so please get prepared and be safe out there. God bless you all. Representative Cassidy, would you like to join us? Rep Cassidy? Rep Cassidy, would you like to join? You're good? <laughs> All right, we're going a little out of order, so I apologize, but I'd like to ask District Attorney Cruz to come up and give his remarks. Thank you very much for your attention. Thanks, Sydney, and I just want to thank Jamie and the Hodges family for putting this together, the president of the African American Association for organizing this event. Uh, it's very impressive. This all put together a lot of good people here today, and we're proud to sponsor uh, a portion of the newly formed African American Association here in Brockton. And I don't believe that the pan-African flag's ever been raised here at City Hall before, so it really marks a, a monumentous occasion here in the city of Brockton. Uh, this raising of the flag uh, is not just to honor Black History Month, but to remind us all of the struggles and the triumphs of the Amer African Americans throughout history. And some of you may not know, you see the, the, the Liberty Tree in front of me here, uh, that we have a very significant piece of black history here uh, that you may not be aware of. And the Brockton Liberty Tree was an important stop on the Underground Railroad for those seeking to escape slavery. It was located on High Street, uh, which now has been renamed Frederick, Frederick Douglass Avenue, and it was a gathering place for great voices advocating for the abolition of slavery and then for the right of women to vote. In 2004, unfortunately, the Liberty Tree was cut down after being severely damaged by a storm. And this piece of the Liberty Tree we brought here today uh, it's permanently and it's proudly displayed in the DA's office lobby for all to see. And I think that it reflects the remarkable significance of that site in our community's history and serves as a reminder of our office's commitment to ensuring liberty and justice for all. Every day, not just the first of this month or the month of February, should be a reminder of how far that we as a nation and as a community have come. And it's a moment to reflect on how we can always be better. So I thank everybody for coming out today. I thank uh, the mayor's office for allowing us to, to be here today. And I thank all the people that are here. This is a great turnout. It really is. And, uh, and I appreciate it. And I hope everybody has a great rest of the day. Thank you so much. Thank you.
So I am extremely grateful that we were able to start off the month celebrating black history because, you know, for, for one, it, it is a short month. It does come after a lot of break, a, a lot of school breaks and college breaks, and so it always seems to be a really hard month to, to, to get uh, events established, and there's always the threat of the bad winter weather <laughs> that deter us from making plans because we never know when there's going to be a storm, especially in New England. So um, it was really significant when I spoke with Jamie and Jasmine at their first meeting that they chose to do this on the first day. So kudos to them. Yay. And we, we really hope that uh, as, a, as a community, we'll be able to celebrate many, many events like this throughout the month without the interruption of bad weather. I, I know that we have a storm predicted this weekend, but I'm, I'm hoping and praying that it's just a minor little dusting on top of the two feet we already got. <laughs> no, no, we don't want to shovel anymore. I don't want to shovel anymore. I don't know about anybody else. Um, but um, I think it's, it's really significant in Brockton, which is a majority Alana community, to be able to have events like this. We hope that people will be invested in the community and reach out to the mayor's office to let us know if there is something that needs to be celebrated, if there's a flag that needs to be raised, if there's an organization that needs to be uplifted in our community. We are all here to help assist in that endeavor. Uh, we are very grateful for the inclusion of a, um, inclusion, of a diversity and equity and inclusion manager newly hired by the city to make sure that we are spot on in our support of our majority Alana community. It's really important. It's very important to this mayor. I'm sure it's very important to all of you or you wouldn't be here today. Uh, we want to make sure that our city is represented in all forms of government, business, social, uh, educational outlets. We want to make sure that everyone is heard. And, and we don't always do, we can't always do that by ourselves. We can't always think of everything. So please know that you have uh, the ear of the mayor and his staff to ensure that we are doing the good work that we need to do to continue as the thriving community that I believe we are. I, I wouldn't be here otherwise. Um, I, I very much believe in Brockton. I believe in this mayor. I believe in this administration. And, uh, and I work alongside some great people, from our state reps to our senators, to our school committee members, to our councils at large. People are very, very caring and considerate about the, the future of the city. And so I hope that as you, you know, as you raise your children, as you, work with the, as you work with children or the youth, whether it's in your organization or your classroom, that you remember um, that it's really important to give back to them and, and show them that there is promise, that there is hope, and that we can be a diverse, loving, and thriving community always. And that there are people out here that will help us to do that. Thank you, God. The man of the hour, <laughs> Mayor Sullivan. Thank you. Better late than never. I apologize. I was at my cardiologist, and uh, I could not cancel my cardiologist. I do a stress test every year. So again, I apologize. This is a historic day here in the city of Brockton. Just look at the turnout. It speaks volumes right here. And I see so many elected officials here. I see a district attorney. I see the senator. I see the sheriff back there, Bishop, uh, Bishop uh, Branch. Um, I see Council President is here, Jack Lally. I see Rita Mendez is here. I'm trying to see Shirley Azak, Council Azak's here as well. Can I meet somebody else? All right, all right. So again, I do apologize for being tardy, uh, but I do want to just, th first of all, thank you all for being here. I want to thank uh, the Hodges family. I want to thank, uh, I want to thank Jamie and Jasmine. You know, Brockton, Brockton is, is, is a lot of, of firsts, right? I mean, we could talk about Thomas Edison, first electrified fire station, electrified movie theater, electrified street light. Uh, you could talk about 
when I became mayor, the first uh, pride flag raising and trans flag raising. Today is another first in the city of champions. The African American flag is going to be raised. It's an awesome, awesome thing. So I do, I do personally want to just thank Jamie and Jasmine and, and Cynthia and James and everybody in the Hodges family, what you do every day to better Brockton. I want to thank, of course, the African American Association, which was created and just founded recently. Uh, and if you are interested in joining, please reach out to either Jamie or Jasmine on that. Um, today, February 1st, is just a beautiful day because it does mark the beginning of a wonderful month. Black History Month starts today in the city of Brockton. We'll welcome it and embrace it and love it. I also want to thank my chief of staff, Sydney Merrill, for, uh, for everything she does every day. <laughs> Today we will raise proudly this uh, African-American flag. And again, it, it's here at City Hall. In an ideal world, we'd be outside, but weather didn't uh, accommodate for this. But you know what? This is what Brockton is, 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 is meaning, right? Coming together as a community. You look around the room and you see diversity. That's what Brockton is. So today is just another wonderful day of the community coming together, a community embracing a common purpose and a common, a common vision. And it's to welcome and to embrace and to love. And I want to thank Yolanda uh, Kender for being here, who is our first, and again, another historic week. On Monday, she was the first inclusion and diversity manager for the city of Brockton. Many of you know that, that my dad was a history teacher at Brockton High uh, for almost 40 years. And history means something to me personally uh, as a son of a history teacher. And to learn about Brockton's history is, is vital. You need to know not just about the name of Brockton or the, the acronym City of Champions, but what does Brockton mean? What has Brockton done? So when you talk about Brockton, you can talk about uh, the city, the town of North Bridgewater, always welcomed the liberation of, of slaves that, that fled the South. I mean, the Underground Railroad stops were real. They were here in Brockton. At the time, it was called High Street. Now we probably have changed it to Frederick Douglass Avenue. The Liberty Tree is there. If you haven't seen the Liberty Tree, I encourage you, please, go and see the Liberty Tree. That's where Frederick Douglass himself, he himself personally came to Brockton. And he stood at that tree and he preached. And William Lloyd Garrison was giving speeches there as well. So again, leaders would, would meet at the tree uh, and it stood tall. And uh, even though itself, the original tree uh, died over time, uh, like anything that's rooted, it grew. And there's a new branch that grows there now. And um, in, in the old hotel, the Grayson Hotel across the street, which is owned by the BRA, and I know Robert Jenkins here, and it's going to be sold. Myself and, and, and some of my team members here in my office, we took a tour recently. And what was in the basement of the old Grayson? Pieces of the Liberty Tree. Pieces of the actual Liberty Tree that the city is going to be able to retain before that, that hotel is sold. And we're going to use it because we hate, have to preserve history. And this is what the Plymouth County DA's office has when you walk into their atrium. This is what it is. This is an actual piece of the tree. So again, to talk about the tree, to talk about Frederick Douglass himself or Mr. Garrison, um, you know, you need to also talk about the history of what City of Champions means. And you talk about the best undisputed middleweight champion of the world of all time, Marvelous Marvin Hagler, yes. right, who passed away last year. But, but Marvelous Marvin, if you were uh, fortunate enough to know the man and know the family, that's what Brockton is. You know, he might have got robbed in that Sugar Ray fight. Matt, he did get robbed in that Sugar Ray fight. <laughs> But, you know, he never forgot Brockton. And even when he was in Italy or up in New Hampshire, Brockton was home. And so where Marvin trained every day on Petronelli Way, that gym, which used to be Ward Street, and now it's Petronelli Way, is going to be converted to housing. It's going to be, again, earmarking what history is about. It's right across from the late Mayor Bill Carpenter garage. So, you know, I am uh, the biggest cheerleader when it comes to Brockton. And when we talk about Brockton as a whole, we need to talk about not just the past, right? We learn from the past to forge ahead, right? But we have to look at the future and the next generation and what the next group of Brocktonians are gonna bring, right? We can create the building blocks for success and we've done that, but we need to step it up, ladies and gentlemen. So when I became mayor, I met Sh uh, Shalala Gilmer, right? And what did, what did Shalala do? She created Black Owned Brockton. Black owned Brockton, and what did we do? We embraced it. We went up to the Westgate Mall and we spent money and it was at, it was at the old Stacey Adams. You know, this is what we need to do as a community at all times. 
It doesn't matter if you're white, you're black, you're Irish, Italian, Cape Verdean, Haitian, you're a Brocktonian. And we always have to remember that. We always have to remember that. So again, in about a month's time now, we're going to be able to go across the street and, and we're going to be able to buy a beer if you drink, and I, I like to have a beer, at the black-owned, first black-owned brewery in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, Brockton Beer. Just another first. Just another first. And I've said this before, and I see my good friend Rep. Jerry Cassidy here. Thank you for being here, Rep. But I said this. If you're there the first night, the first round will be on me. Okay? It will be on me. Just don't tell my wife. But uh, listen, I'm just so proud to be here. I'm so proud about the diversity and also just coming together and in, embracing. And, you know, we can talk about really what COVID has done. COVID has killed 511 of our fellow Brocktonians. But it's, it's, it's a good thing to come together and, and remember the past, but plan out the future. Plan out the future. So, so Jamie and Jasmine are the future, but there's many of you here I can look around the room. The future is bright in the city of champions. There's no doubt about that. So with that being said, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to welcome uh, the Hodges sisters to the podium. I want to thank them. I want everybody to, uh, to embrace their shared vision of a better Brockton. I also want to give a, a proudly give a proclamation today um, to both... So this is a proclamation. Whereas during Black History Month, the city of Brockton celebrates the many achievements and contributions made by African Americans to our economic, cultural, spiritual, and political development. And whereas the observance of Black History Month calls our attention to the continued need to address racial injustice and continue to improve community relationships that symbolize our demographic ideals. Whereas the city of Brockton continues to work towards becoming an inclusive community in which all citizens are respected and recognized for their culture and the ways which it enriches our city, our commonwealth, and our nation. Whereas the city of Brockton is proud to honor the history and contributions of African Americans in our city, our state, and our country, therefore I, Robert F. Sullivan, as the mayor of Brockton, hereby proclaim the month of February in the city of Brockton is Black History Month. I urge all residents in the city of Brockton and beyond to join me in observing this proud and historic month. And I proudly sign this the first day of February 2022. And I want to present it to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. So at this time, I'm going to ask uh, the Hodges sisters and their mom and all elected officials and all Brocktonians to come on over and let's proudly hoist this awesome flag. Thank you.
this officially uh, concludes the, the flag roasting ceremony. I do want to thank all the city employees that came down to show their support as well, all the school employees that came. But more importantly, all of you for being here today. Please continue to be safe. Please continue to wear your mask. God bless each and every one of you, and God bless the city of champions. Thank you.